Isn't chemistry awesome? Today what I'm gonna do is we're gonna learn about something called a hydrate. So I'm holding a crystal of copper sulfate. Copper sulfate though is hydrated. Hydrate, you might think of this from water, if I'm hydrated or dehydrated, right? But this, in its crystalline structure, contains water. Check out the image that you're looking at right now, and that's the structure of copper sulfate pentahydrate. That means there's five waters that are connected to the copper. And so you can see this crystalline structure. This is actually an interesting compound, copper sulfate pentahydrate. It's used as like a fungicide. If I were to like, eat this, bad idea. It would cause diarrhea and all kinds of problems and like really bad. Uh, not a good thing, but it is used as a fungicide on plants, uh, fruit trees, things of that sort. But if you do something with this, which we're about to do, uh, it will drive the water off. You see the water is bonded in the crystalline structure, but I want to find something that is more attracted to the water than the copper sulfate. So here I'm going to take, I'm going to take the copper sulfate, I'm going to put it into this little beaker. Now this little beaker, all right, has a chemical in it, but to really see it, I'm going to need to add that chemical. And this chemical right here is sulfuric acid, super, super concentrated, 100% sulfuric acid. This stuff, very bad for you. I notice I'm wearing gloves because I don't want to breathe even the fumes in there. And as I add it to it, it's, it's actually a slow reaction, but it's going to start taking place. All right. Well, it turns out that the sulfuric acid in its pure form wants to dissolve in water. And so as it dissolves in water, it takes the water off of the copper sulfate. And if you look carefully, what's slowly happening is that the copper sulfate is starting to turn whiter. Because it turns out the anhydrous form of copper sulfate pentahydrate is white. Let's compare this to a regular crystal of the copper sulfate. You'll notice the color of the regular copper sulfate is a deep blue, but notice what's happening with stuff in the solution. It's turning whiter. And the way you can turn the hydrate into the anhydrous version is you just heat this up. You just heat it up and that will boil away the water. But I think it's more interesting to watch it in this context. Now we're about 10 minutes later and you can definitely see the color contrast. So isn't chemistry awesome?